though I really wanted to comment on it. In September of this year, a teenager from Georgia named Ruben Simo, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. Anyway, Ruben was playing soccer when he was kicked in the head and suffered a serious concussion. He had to be airlifted to a hospital and was in a coma for three days. And when he woke up, something really strange happened. The first words out of his mouth was Tengo hambre, or I'm hungry in Spanish. And this is strange because Ruben only knew a few phrases in Spanish before his accident. And the only contact he had with Spanish speakers was his brother who studied in Spain and his Spanish speaking teammates. But now Ruben is able to speak Spanish fluently for the first time in his life. Also what's strange is that he could no longer speak English well. He told the time that it started flowing out. I felt like it was like second nature for me. I wasn't speaking my English right and every time I tried to speak it, I would have a seizure. In the weeks after the accident, Ruben gradually recovered the ability to speak English and now he speaks both languages fluently, although he says the Spanish has begun to fade. This phenomenon is rare but not unheard of and although the medical community cannot explain it, they do have a name for it. It's called the foreign accent syndrome, sometimes the foreign language syndrome and dozens of cases has been reported from around the world with the first reported in 1941 when a Norwegian woman suffered shrapnel injuries to the brain during a German bombing run and started speaking with a German accent. Another interesting case happened three years ago when police found a Navy vet unconscious in a South California hotel. When he woke up, he had no memory of his life and spoke only Swedish. In Australia, a former bus driver got into a serious car accident that left her with a broken back and jaw. When she woke up, she was left with something completely unexpected, a French accent. And in a previous video on this channel, I covered the story of a 25-year-old living in England who woke up from a car crash and spoke perfect French. Anyway, most most researchers such as Dr. Karen Krutz, one of the few experts in foreign accent syndrome, told CNN a few years ago, speech is one of the most complicated things we do, and there are a lot of brain sensors involved in coordinating a lot of moving parts. If one or more of them are damaged, that can affect the timing, melody, and tension of their speech. But that doesn't really explain how people are waking up and suddenly are fluent in a different language. So to me, and this is just my opinion, there are only two explanations that sort of make sense. One is that our brain is just insanely awesome, and somehow it absorbs everything we come in contact with in our life. It's like downloading in the matrix. Everything we come in contact with, our brain just somehow absorbs. And kind of like how hypnosis can somehow bring forth hidden memories, so with the right trigger, we can tap into those skills we didn't even know we had. Another possibility is that people suffering from foreign language syndrome is somehow tapping into their past lives. Because if you think about it, if we had past lives, then of course we would have been born in different places all around the world and thus have spoken different languages, and somehow deep down we still remember them. What I really don't buy into is that this is simply a timing or attention of the speech thing. I mean, people are waking up from comas speaking fluent languages they didn't know before. There is definitely something really mysterious going on and it is not that easily explained. So guys, let's talk about it. I really want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments, do you feel like this phenomenon is happening only because of some sort of speech thing or you think it's something more mysterious? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. This story was sent to me, and although it happened a couple of months ago, I really wanted to comment on it. In September of this year, a teenager from Georgia named Ruben Simo, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. Anyway, Ruben was playing soccer when he was kicked in the head and suffered a serious concussion. He had to be airlifted to a hospital and was in a coma for three days. And when he woke up, something really strange happened. The first words out of his mouth was, Tengo hambre, or I'm hungry in Spanish. And this is 